afternoon. Um, I think it's fair to say I mean, you will probably stay well clear of social media and radio, etc. this week. Mm -hmm. um, you are not top of the popularity charts with some of the fans. Are you, are you surprised by that level of rancor? Is it something you presumably have not experienced? No, listen, uh, we've just lost two games, two close games, so on the back of that there's obviously uh, anxiety in the fan base because we, we want to do well. We're in a similar position to when I took over, so there's still a lot to play for. I think some people weren't happy when I arrived before I even started playing a game, and so look, we have to just play the next games in front of us. I'm delighted with the way the players are working behind the scenes, the togetherness of the group and stuff like that. And, I just have to keep working with the, the players and if the results go the way it will change some people's uh, opinion but some people it may never so I have to face that as a fact really. Um, it's a results driven business isn't it and we spoke last week about the whole game being a must win game and Stoke now becomes the pressure on a win even greater. Yeah and listen if we win that game I think we'll go back what just outside the playoffs on, on goal difference so it's a huge crisis at this football club. Do you know what I mean? The youngest team in the league. Like, we haven't got the biggest budget. We're sat where we are, three points outside the playoffs with a home game coming up. I'm a little bit perplexed and bemused by uh, the outside thing. You know, the uh, the change was made by the club. We'd won two in nine when the change was made. In the next nine league games, the team's won four. So for me, that is an ongoing issue that we're not scoring enough goals. We're scoring a goal per game in the last 18 or 19. And we need to try and rectify that. We need all the support from the outside. And the focus needs to stay on the team, I think. Can you shield the team from that noise? I mean, because you know they live in the area. They, they, they have to mix with the fans. Is it, is it important to try and keep them focused on, on the job in hand? Yeah, definitely. They're a young group, so they train really well. I'm delighted with the work that we've done behind the scenes. What I think is, we, at some point, we're going to reward ourselves in the games and the results will will be positive. It was only a couple of games ago that we were free unbeaten and the last two games in particular in the league have been very harsh on us, I feel. There were two really close games. We had more possession than the Ipswich at their stadium. We had more considerably more than Hull at our stadium so to come out of both games losing to set plays is disappointing we'd like the team to play better in the final third a little bit quicker play forward quicker run run forward as well and they're the things we're working on but in terms of what the players in-house are giving me I'm absolutely delighted in their work ethic every day uh, but like you say everyone's aware of the noise in the background but all we can focus on is, is the next game um, You spoke the other week that you'd hoped to get players in in this window in this window sooner rather than later and that hasn't happened as yet. Is, is that a frustration for you in trying to change, trying to get the team, you know, sort of, as you mentioned, scoring more than one a game or not even that at the moment? There's a few things with that. Like I think, you know, we're coming in and the team was a team that that had free running fullbacks as well in terms of free flowing running fullbacks behind wide players and We've had an issue in the left back position with obviously losing Niall and then Dennis has not unfortunately had a reoccurrence. We put Adji in and he started doing well and got injured and Paddy's been out as well. So then things have not been ideal. They're not excuses, they're actually facts. I still think the last two games we were unfortunate not to get results. Uh, in terms of the striker situation, well the club did invest heavily in the summer in four number nines. The reality is no one had scored a goal before me coming in. Since I've come in, Rusin's played more and scored. Pritchard scored his first goal of the season. Paddy Roberts is yet to score. So it's clear that as a team, uh, it was a problem for Tony and it's, a, it was, it's now a slight issue for myself that I'm working with. But I came here to work with the players that were here. So that's my focus is on that. I know that Christian's going to come and talk to you about the, the transfer market, but I think it's clear for everyone inside and outside where the team needs to improve. Uh, Michael, sorry for the slight repetition here, and we've been talking a lot about the fun you've been having since you come in here. Most managers get a bit of a honeymoon period. It's felt like you haven't been allowed that. Do you do you think about that in in this in this process, or is it just when we come here and ask you about it? Uh, well, listen, we're always trying to get better behind the scenes, and I feel that one or two of the results could have been better. I'm disappointed about that myself. I think. 
we've in, in the time that I've been here, if you look at the league games, we generally played, apart from Rotherham, all the teams around us. We've had a couple of good days and a, a couple of, of sore ones, but certainly the last two games where we've had more possession, we've had equal opportunity to win those games, we've lost a small margin. So I think my job is to focus on what the club's asking me to do behind the scenes, and I'm delighted with the players and their work ethic, their togetherness. I'm really happy with the staff, and I believe the quality of the work ultimately will start leading to positive results on the pitch. And scoring goals has been a problem, as we know, for, I don't know, every year, more. And do you think there's a solution to that coming any time in the next few weeks? Or well, a few days, so you're, yeah. you're alluding to. No, listen, I know that Christian's going to come and speak to you about that. It is an issue. The, the team obviously recruited four strikers in the summer and only one scored a goal. And what are we, the last week in January now? So it's clear that that's an issue. Those boys, I can tell you, are working really hard every single day and are desperate to do well for this football club. It's not just those as well. Could we score more goals from midfield, for example? Pritchard scored his first goal of the season at Preston on at home to Preston on New Year's Day. Paddy Roberts still hasn't scored a goal this season as well. So it's it's a team issue. And this weekend Stoke an opportunity to change the narrative a little bit, get that win. The opportunity for us to take three points and go back, you know, on just outside the uh, playoff positions on goal difference, and and where we, where if we if we're able to do that, then I think we're in a fantastic position, and, and maybe there'll be some positivity around the place for sure. All right, thank you. Stephen Schumacher joined Stoke at about the same time that, that you joined here, Michael, and he's had the same amount of games and got the same amount of wins, but it doesn't seem like he is having to deal with the same sort of stuff that you're having to deal with, but why do you think that is? I don't know, to be honest. Like, Firstly, I, I wish Stephen well after this weekend. Like, he done well at Plymouth and he's had this opportunity at Stoke and he's, as you say, like, I think he started quite well. I think there's seventh or eighth in the form guide, so if you're saying that we're similar in terms of results over the last five or six games, then we can't be that bad then, can we? So I think uh, maybe uh, the expectations at our club are just that little bit greater at this moment in time. Certainly, you know, there's an anxiety in the crowd in, in terms of wanting us to do well, but I can assure you we're all the same. We're anxious to do well as well. We all, we're all on the same page with that. Uh, yeah, hello. Um, I presume you're glad to have another home fixture as soon as uh, you are to have one. Obviously, Hull not long ago, right the wrongs made from that mistake. Yeah. Listen, I think uh, that was a really tight game in terms of of uh, the chances, but we, I thought we, on the night we were clearly the better team. We just we we didn't execute in the final third. I still don't believe we deserved to lose that game. I think anyone would, say, would be saying that. Would, would, I would find it hard to believe their opinion on that game. We were clearly the stronger team. Obviously, I appreciate you trying to find the correct formula in terms of who to play in what games. But I thought Abdullah Bar played very well against Ipswich. Why was he taken out of the team against Hull? Well, we brought Roos in back in, and, and who do you take out? Out of Pritchard, Job, and, and Clark, who have also done well. So it's a, it's, it is what it is. That was a decision that was made in that game, and we've got another team to pick this weekend. Abdullah could equally be in it, but I feel that we're at the stage where we've got maybe 13 or 14 players that deserve to play. So it's, uh, it's how they train, and it's what we feel is right for each game. And the fans were clearly frustrated at the end of the, the, the whole game. What would your message be to them going into this game against Stoke? Well, I think that they have to make the environment for the opponents more difficult than we make it for our, for ourselves. And uh, look, it's important that me, firstly, as the manager of the team and the head coach, that we play in a way that gets the fans excited and the players we provide the energy on the pitch that the fans can get behind and I know if we do that they'll follow us and we're working hard to do that. As I say, the players have been outstanding in terms of their work effort and togetherness and willingness to, to train well and take on the ideas and I think there's a big performance just around the corner and if we go and get one in the next game that will lead to a snowball effect hopefully in the coming weeks.